This video shows the replacement of the screen on a Hewlett Packard Pavilion laptop model 15E073SA. The first thing to do is to remove the bezel from around the screen. It's held on by two screws under little plastic covers in the bottom left hand and right hand corners of the screen. Take these two screws out and keep them separate because they are longer than the rest of the screws that you'll find in the assembly and you don't want to mix them up. Pull the bezel off by putting your fingers under the edges of it and running your hand around the screen. It comes off fairly easily. You may find there's a little bit of tape holding the bezel onto the screen at the bottom just pull it away, it'll come off fairly easily. Once you've got here, remove the four screws at the bottom, two in the left hand corner, two in the right hand corner, and the two screws at the top of the screen, one on the left and one on the right. While you're doing this, support the cover so that you don't stretch the cabling too much. When you've removed the screws, close the cover down and then lift the cover up gently so that you don't stretch the cabling. Peel the tape up holding the connector to the screen and carefully remove the connector. Once that's disconnected you can take the screws out which are holding the frame to the screen. There are four screws, one in each corner. Remove those and keep those separately. Once you've done that, you can lift the old screen away, put it on one side and dispose of it. You're now ready to install the new screen. Cover the keyboard with something soft to avoid scratching the new screen and place the new screen in place. Line up the frame and replace the four screws holding the frame to the screen. Now carefully reattach the connector. Make sure it's properly seated. And then reattach the sticky tape. You may find it useful to put a bit more tape on this just to hold it in place. Now fold the screen up and put the cover back against it and replace the six screws that are holding the frame to the cover. You can now test the screen by replacing the battery and switching the computer on. This is obviously working now, so switch the computer off and we'll finish off the reassembly. Make sure that the video cable attached to the screen is properly seated in the grooves along the bottom of the screen otherwise the 
bezel won't fit properly. And once you've done that, you can replace the bezel. Carefully press it in around the sides, the top and the bottom. You will need to support the bottom at the back with your fingers to make sure you've got all the clips in place. Once it's in place, replace the two screws plastic caps if you wish, and the job's done.